I had texted her again and I said, hey, um, just want to let you know I have an 18 wheeler and you live on a dead end road. Should I be worried? She said, not if you're a great driver. And if I wasn't, FML, right? FML. Even the depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. Hey y'all, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Look at this view, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. So we about to bang out this delivery. Uh, where? I don't know. How? I have no idea. Don't ask me, cause I don't know. So I'm about to uh, hit arrive, put my phone away, cause I am legit aggravated right now. Like, I get it. Like the view is beautiful, but where? Like the house is way back there. I texted the lady cause she couldn't really hear me. I said, hey, uh. You know, this is Mike, the Home Depot delivery driver. I'm on my way. I'll be there within the hour, just that and a third. She got a whole bunk of fencing that need to come off on that side. Uh, I gotta watch out for this mailbox. So she got a whole bunk of, bunk of fencing that needs to come off on that side. And she ain't got a driveway, bro. Like, she don't. Not that I saw. I mean, I could be mistaken. Um, I don't even know if she's home home. It sounded like she was sleeping when I called her, but um, yeah, there's like no space for me to turn around. Like I saw that on the Jeep, on the on the satellite GPS that there was no space to turn around. But this is crazy. Like, and I was like, all right, so I could just back in and back out. That's that's not the issue. The issue is I got to offload from the passenger side because this fencing has concrete on top and it's double stacked on top of another fencing bunk, bunk which is no big deal all right but not only do i gotta have space to offload it i bet you she parked here or something like that uh, i'm gonna hit that mulch i'm gonna pull up eh. sorry i wasn't paying attention to my driver's side and then so i had texted her again and i said hey um just want to let you know i have an 18 wheeler and you live on a dead end road should i be worried she said not if you're a great driver and if i wasn't fml right fml uh, i'm about to turn this heat off because papa is cooking So I gotta find out where this stuff needs to go. Mm. See, it's deliveries like this that waste my day bro it really do so she lives here and where the hell am I supposed to put this fence in at Papa, yo no sé. So. Uh, I'm about to go make contact. Let me make sure my truck is in neutral. That's yours. 
Yeah. I don't even have enough space to offload. Okay. So my first question would be, where am I supposed to leave it? Okay, so if you want to unload, offload this first, uh -huh. and then take those off, and we're going to bring them around back. Bring them around back where? Right, right on the side of the garage, because that's where they're going. People, a lot of guys turn around right here. Yeah, but once once I start angling my my track my trailer, I'm not gonna have enough space to swing open. I've been doing this a while. You've seen that size truck back in there. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't even try that. Cause uh, if I hit your fence. Well, the only thing I can say. I, I don't mind backing all the way out. I just need enough space to offload from the passenger side. Oh, you have to go from the passenger mm -hmm, side. Cause you have the concrete on that side. I and gotcha. and that offsets the weight. All right, so so I'm thinking. What if we took out a post or something and you tried it? No. No, I think I'd rather. Um, uh. Let's see. Only Tom and Brandy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So. Let me back it up. attempt that and I don't think it was this size truck to be honest that's crazy Great views come great responsibilities, I guess, huh? That means I gotta hurry the fuck up. Yeah, there's no way I would back my truck up there. Now that I'm like really looking at it in proportion, there's no way. Not with this size truck. You know, sometimes I realize that some customers will tell you anything to, be, to, to, to just get down where they need you and then you're on your own to get out. 
And I feel like this is one of those times because there's no way I would be able to back up a truck in there. Not without using the Moffitt to like wiggle around. So what I'm going to do is pull up a little bit over here. And then back the truck up some more. Right about there should be good. Because then once I pluck it off, I'm gonna have to back up my truck some more to then. Uh, so once I unstrap it, pluck it off, I'm gonna pull it off into that driveway and then back up my truck even more. Ooh, it's cold. She might not be too happy. She got some broken fence panels. <laughs> you gotta love it. Uh, I gotta back up the truck some more. Cause I gotta be able to get like right here. I'm gonna throw these over first. So when I pluck the fencing off, I'll probably get it on that driveway. And then back the truck up some more. This should be interesting.
up my truck. I feel like when you do a regular delivery, it's, you shouldn't have to do all this. You really shouldn't. This is like for what? I don't see no FedEx guys doing this. Anybody that wants to come down this road is going to be hit for the next, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes at least. be able to spin around on that gravel uh, I mean it's not the best ideal but I could just back all the way clean out If I do that, my tires are going to leave really deep marks. Okay. Hmm? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yep. That's all they gave me. No problem. Yeah, I just figured I'll just back it all the way out. I don't, I'm not gonna sweat it. Are you gonna be able to back it out to the end? Yeah, I'll figure something out. Because right, I know that dirt driveway, they don't care. Yeah, I just, I don't wanna waste the same amount of time of trying to spin around rather than backing out. Because at least backing out, I know I'll make it. Yeah. But spinning around, I don't know. So. Well, just, I mean, if you back into that driveway, mm -hmm. you're gonna pull out. Yeah. And I was looking at this driveway, I would have never made that. No. Nope. No. So you might have had like water trucks or something like that. Like triaxles. My father, my father drove an 18 wheeler. Mm-hmm. And he did it all the time. But... And he made this driveway. Yeah. It was tough. Yeah. I'm not, not going to say it wasn't. It was tough. Yeah. I mean, I'm not dedicated to one site, so I still have a crap load of other deliveries to do. So. Oh, I know. So. Not a thank you. All right. Thank you.
guys on the next one. Later. Alright guys, so I'm going to attempt to back out of this beautiful location. We, the wind is blowing, trees are blowing. And uh, this is a pretty nice neighborhood. Customer I just dropped off. She said that her neighbors don't mind if I use that dirt and gravel driveway to spin around. But unless I heard it from the neighbor's mouth themselves, and even then so, I don't got a waiver sign. Nope, not happening. I'd rather just back out because I know I can back out. Since this whole road is at an angle, I'd rather not even attempt it. This driveway on the other hand ah, looks pretty good to me Frank So what I'm gonna do, so I don't get stuck, I'm gonna lock the differential, turn the wheel, give it some gas, then let go of the brake sharply. And pull up a little bit. Ooh, I'm sliding in mud. Back up a little bit, give it some gas. Uh, I think this was a bad idea. Good boys and girls and non binaries. So now I'm gonna set it in neutral, turn that off. Uh, let's hit the road, Frank. Never come back, no more, no more, no more. God damn it. <sighs> Easy peasy. When life gives you lemons, you squeeze them in your eyes. I'll see you guys on the next one. Keep your eyes peeled like lemons. See you later.